Hey guys, I hope you had a really great day trading today. This morning we did open with a small gap up and then the next move we came in to fill that gap and then we actually kept selling off to get into this next support level which is the up gap from June. I'll zoom out in just a second to show where that is and then we almost filled that level completely around 422.31 was the bottom. I feel kind of like a ninja today because I closed my 440 puts right here at around 422.50. So from and right after that, we came back up. So this right here, 422 is going to be a support. We came back up to the five minute 200 moving average and we did get pushed down from that level. So still not able to get above the five minute 200 moving average. You can see that that level has been resistance since right here and that is right where Chair Powell spoke. And actually even a little bit before then, um, we were having trouble uh, we got up here right before he spoke, but that five minute 200 moving average has been a pretty steady resistance for this whole rundown. But zooming out to show that gap, it is that gap that we filled almost completely today was from the 1st of June, and then that big head and shoulders came after that. And we also completed today the, um, we did have a bear flag right here. And that target on that was, give me just a second. The target on that was 425. So we closed that out. We still have um, the target on the head and shoulders is actually a little deeper 405 um, on the head and shoulders but we at least closed out the bear flag um, we got to that target and i am getting way ahead of myself here so we did close up 0.04 percent vix came down almost four percent today and we did trade completely within the implied move today all right, let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 422 and 430 and that is from options and even though VIX came down a little bit the range actually didn't come down at all so we saw a four dollar range yesterday we see a four dollar range going into tomorrow and that is because we have GDP and some other economic data coming out tomorrow so and then the 30-day volatility also got a little bit wider 420 to 432 and to the upside, I do have the five minute 200 moving average right here because that is an important level. We have not been able to get that above that level. And then also um, right around that general area, uh, 428 you can see has been a little bit of a difficult level right here in the past two days. And then if we can push above those two levels, then at the very top of the trading range, we do have the Monday gap down. And then the neckline of the head and shoulders is at the very top of tomorrow's trading range. And then to the downside, we do have the rest of that gap that we didn't fill today. And that is around the 422 level. And then if we do break that, then really just outside tomorrow's trading range is the 200 day moving average underneath all of it. So we do have um, for economic data, 830 in pre-market, we have initial jobless claims and GDP. And then at 10 a.m. we have pending home sales. We have a Fed speaker at 1 p.m. And then we also have Chair Powell speaking. I actually have no idea what he's speaking about tomorrow, but that is at market close at 4 p.m. 
So um, that is definitely important stuff. And we are at a huge, huge key level that 200 day moving average as of right now, we're still bearish, even with that pop today. Um, and a lot is going to ride on the economic data that comes out tomorrow. I am on the sidelines. As of today, I closed out my position, so I will be reacting tomorrow after the data comes out. Um, and that's really all I've got for you guys tonight. I have not been publishing my charts out on TradingView, but this one is going to be up there tonight. So I will have that link in the description and have fun, trade safe, and take profits when you're up. I'll see you guys tomorrow.